Join me for another ride along doing food delivery. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. On my channel I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for delivery companies, mostly involving Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash. On occasion I do cover Instacart, and before I would mostly focus on Uber and Lyft, but not so much right now. Welcome back and I'm glad you're going to join me again on another day of delivering food. I've already gotten a start. I've done four Uber Eats orders and two Postmates orders. They were pretty much back to back and long distance, total of 62 miles. And I'll have to look up the earnings later, but um, Uber Eats was roughly $44. One person tip, the other three have not. And then Uber Eats, or I'm sorry, Postmates I haven't checked yet. It is very sunny and windy out here today in Southern California. And I'm glad that you're gonna join me for the rest of the day as we deliver food. Incidentally, I am getting a promotion on Uber Eats for a 30% bonus, the 1.3 multiplier. So I think I'm going to stick with them. And if it continues to uh, not be back to back, I may switch over to DoorDash, such as right now. It has been slow for about the last 10 or 15 minutes. But then I got a chance to make this video for you. All right, check back in a little bit. Well, good morning and welcome back. I have done five orders with Uber Eats of those two have tipped, and that's roughly $57 for now. And with Postmates, I did two orders, that's $5.22, and they have not tipped yet, so that'll be coming. I've driven 70 miles. It has slowed down, I noticed, in the last hour, which is why I was able to make uh, these videos for you. And I think it should start picking up soon. It's 10.30, so the lunch rush should, should start about 11.00 and go through 1 or 1.30. So let's get back out there and make some money. Hey, welcome back. It's 11.30, lunch rush should start. It has been noticeably slow the last hour and a half. I have a total of $82, and I have driven basically 90 miles, which necessarily isn't good, but um, for the Uber Eats orders and the Postmates orders, there's uh, nine total. And it looks like one, two, three, four have tipped. So I should get some more money out of tips as time goes on. And of course, I prefer to be busy doing back-to-back -back deliveries. But when it's slow, I took a break and uh, got a nutritious Coke and some refreshment and get back out on the road. All right, I will update you when I have more to share. Bye. One quick update. I did make a separate video and I'll link it at the end, but I wanted to share some information that'll help you get more tips with your customers when you're doing any type of delivery for food, groceries, what have you. So you can insert your own name. What I do is I'll send a text message when I'm on my way to deliver. It says, hello, this is Russ with, in this case, Uber Eats. I will be there soon. Later, Please don't forget to rate my service. Thank you. It's a pleasure serving you. Russ. What does that message do? It relates you as a fellow human being with the customer, giving you that connection. And it causes the customer to realize that you are serving them and therefore they should reward you with tips and for those apps that require it, uh, good ratings. So it's something that's helpful. It takes you a few seconds. What I'll do is I'll save it in my email and then just cut and paste it in before each delivery as a text message. I found it's very helpful towards improving tips and the ratings. Welcome back. Here's an update. I have done 13 deliveries, $115, and I've driven 100 miles. So it has caught back up from the lunch rush and I'm looking forward to it continuing. I did switch over to DoorDash for these four deliveries because Uber Eats wasn't coming through. And actually I've had it on now for about 10 minutes and still nothing. So I'm gonna turn on Postmates and go back on for DoorDash as well. I met George who is the king of the city as far as Postmates goes here. And it was a pleasure to meet him and he said that um, roughly he's making about $1,300 a week doing Postmates. 
and that's pretty exciting. So it's always good to meet other delivery drivers out there. All right, back in a while. Bye. Welcome back. I have great news. I had record earnings, my personal best. I earned $218 doing 25 food deliveries between Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash. That is so exciting. You know, the most I ever made in rideshare was roughly $230, and I had started early in the morning and driven until the evening a solid 12 hours. Well, guess what? I only worked a total of 10 hours today on all those platforms, and that's great money. I'm very excited for it. Tipping? Oh, yes, of course. You asked about tipping. Well, tipping was very, very good. As you know on DoorDash, I don't accept any orders unless they're tipping. And usually a good way you can tell is because they'll offer you such low pay, three, four dollar orders. My minimum is seven dollars per order. That way I'm earning a total of twenty-one dollars an hour because currently I can really only do about three per hour. On Uber Eats, a total of nine out of ten customers tipped. And on Postmates, a total of four out of five customers tipped. And on Postmates, it took into the next day to happen, which is understandable, and sometimes it takes even longer for those tips to come in. Is it all just sunshine and roses getting that money? No, there are some expenses, and wear and tear on the vehicle is a critical thing to consider when you're out doing food delivery, rideshare, grocery shopping, etc. I drove a total of 185 miles, and by earning $218, that enabled me to earn $1.18 per mile, which is great. I do know my average for doing food delivery is about a dollar an hour, and it was a little bit less than that, anywhere from, say, 60 to 80 cents per mile for rideshare. So you definitely make more money per mile doing food delivery. At least in my experience, I primarily drive during the day and in my market. So obviously it may make a difference where you are. So using the government rate of 58 cents per mile, what I really should do if I'm smart is take that 185 times 58 cents per mile and that works out to $107. I should put that money straight in the bank and save it for a newer car or to pay for repairs when eventually my car will break down. If I don't put that money aside, then I am doing something that's not sustainable and eventually I am gonna have to replace my car. So if you do the math, 218 minus $107 gives you 111. Divide that by 10, and I profited $11.07 per hour. Pure profit, truly getting paid for my time. That's pretty good compared to not making money. Next, if you exclude the wear and tear on the vehicle, $218, I work 10 hours, that's $21.80 per hour, which is phenomenal for me. I'm very happy with that. Again, I am so happy. I earned record earnings, and I'm glad that I got to share that with you. Please let me know in the comments below, do you find this kind of content helpful and useful to you? I hope that it is motivating for you because you can learn from my mistakes and my experiences and give those shortcuts into your own experience and not repeat the same mistakes or find what works for you and skip all the heartache and go right to where you can make the money. At the end of this video, I will link a video titled Money Maker, and that just goes over my 2019 expenses. And I encourage you, please uh, take away the key learnings from that, and it doesn't really matter about how much I made, I know no one cares about that, but you can see my expenses and how that worked out over time. So it is absolutely critical to be cognizant of what it means to have wear and tear on your car. You have to be saving money for inevitable repairs and replacement for your vehicle. I do know there are limited examples of when having some money is better than none. So do what you can to maximize and be efficient in how you go out and make money on these platforms. It was so exciting to get out early and see the breakfast rush, the lunch rush, 
And then unfortunately I did have to stop short for the dinner rush. But how awesome to be able to make $218 in a day doing food delivery. That's a record for me. So I do thank you for joining me on that ride along. And I do apologize, the rides were pretty busy. The deliveries um, weren't back to back, but they were pretty steady to where I didn't have a chance to give you an update until now. All right, please let me know in the comments below what you think and if there's any other content you would like to see. All right, until I see you in my next video, get out there, make some money, and remember, don't let excuses get in the way. Let's make it happen. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.